Come one, come all, to the most phenomenal, most extraordinary, most unimaginable puppet show you've ever experienced. Prepare for an astonishing adventure, full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry, meant to astound the eye and capture the human soul. The name's Professor Gregorius T. Oswald. But my friends, and we're all friends here, call me G. Today's fantastical tale is the perilous journey of a boy named Kutono. Welcome to the magical theater of the strange and fantastic. scissors known as Calibrus. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the goddess's castle, smashed the white moonstone to pieces. Once upon a time, I once upon a now. This is my moon cheese, so just get to the part where I sound good. <laughs> right, uh, yes, of course, of course. Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great that the impressive moon bear king gave a piece of the white moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? Oh, yes, the next three years were something special. Ah, yes. Now, where do I begin? the Moon Realm's ruthless new king and intended to keep it that way. So night after night he spirited away the souls of children and locked them inside wood puppets who were doomed to defend Castle Grizzlestaff. And while tonight was no exception, it would prove to be quite exceptional. Oh, the poor dearie. Ying Yang, another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting your time? Why, one more and then another after that? As many as it takes me to get my hands on cannabis. <laughs> Nice. Meet our hapless hero, who's just blitzed back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro, Kutaro, your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? Howls to the bitter end. <laughs> Lovely. Another dunce who left his head in the mule bear king's belly. Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head. And I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on, let's find something else you can use. A substitute head. What's rattling around in there? It's a head. Perhaps I'll just help. 
it myself. <laughs> this should do nicely. You're all set. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins, at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> I said. Blast it! What am I doing wrong? Am I not powerful enough? Oh, out. Quick now. This is extremely important. One false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab them right away, their magic will fade and... No more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post haste. Oh, and one other thing. Mune sparkles. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Voila. These are mune sparkles. Collect 100, and you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's keep looking. There, the witch's bloomers. for mune sparkles, so you can keep whatever we find. Keep your eyes peeled for mune sparkles if you want to stay alive. That moon bear king is always angry. Jehoshaphat! Oh, look there. You see that head symbol? Listen, every head has a little bit of magic to it. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. Now, use the head's meow jig. Anyway, keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. Look at that. No wonder they're so skinny. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Go and bring it to me! You'd better follow that fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long legs. Watch that feisty fork. It's as wicked as the witch. Hey, I warned you. Remember to pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. No mistake, Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already staffed by unfortunates whom the Moon Bear King had plucked from their beds. These 
children had been charged with keeping the fickle king fed, and it was a miserably hopeless task. After all, his appetite was as vast and insatiable as his lust for power. Careful, there's this thing about fire and puppets. <laughs> All those moon sparkles, you don't want to toast yourself grabbing them. Ta-da! Happy birthday! A little pick-me-up from me to you. <laughs> Imagine being one of these tykes and spending dusk till dawn getting kneaded and grated, peeled and parboiled, marinated, melted, minced and mashed. Or, if they want to, just zested, followed by a light grazing. Mm, I smell something delicious. The witch couldn't have made it. Head symbol again. See how using your head can change the world? And I do mean that quite literally. The witch, in case you're wondering, was a singularly screwy sorceress by the name of Esma Potts. You'd think someone that gifted with a cauldron would know a thing or two about cooking, and you'd be wrong. <laughs> Kutaro's catty companion, name of Yin Yang, he used to be the moon goddess's faithful feline. One might say he's